On the highway with the 24 sitting shotgun. Yeah, shorty got the ticket to the boost train. Falling out the tracks in the autumn. Yeah, she be living on the west side. Shorty no boundaries, but she alright. Only here for one night, baby, just fine. Baby, just fine. Fragrance section, and I got some sample smells for. Okay. Love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Keep them in order, okay? Because okay. I. One. Not so much. Okay. Uh, okay. Two. Three. Yeah. Not my favorite. Okay, so the first one is the new Aqua Digio. Love it. Okay. Yeah, it kind of has some woody undertones. I love that. Okay. And then the next one is this YSL. Yes. Get both. But this one is so Bob, really popular. I, I almost got that for you. Oh, that's funny because I normally like that. I oh, do no, no, like sorry, that. Sorry, sorry. That's Mount Brook. Well, now I smell it so good. That's not blocked. That she smells said, good she too. She says, this is so much. Kind of smells like Abercrombie. You know? Very fresh. It is nice. No, there's a guy that used to wear it before at our office. He would wear that. And I'm like, what are you wearing? So on, it smells it really different. Yeah. But I love the Aqua Digio and I love the YSL. Wait. See, this is more like fresh and quiet. Fresh. Yeah, I don't like fresh and quiet. Fresh Aquatics. <laughs> um, it's clean, very clean. I like these. And they're so different, but good in different ways. They're very opposite. This one this one smells like a yummy cocktail. So it's actually delicious. <laughs> it's really nice. It's really nice. Okay, well I think that's good. I'm getting some things. The Marc Jacobs bronzer, which I have never had, and it's so popular. Fenty Beauty contour stick, which I really want to try. And a Becca highlighter. Shop okay. bronzers and highlighters. What, okay, what else do I want to get? What else do I need? This is the new Sephora Collection Glow Foundation, which I've used so much. I am obsessed with this. $20, so good. Absolutely love that foundation. Oh, I want the Dr. Jart. Here's a Dr. Jart product I want. I'm gonna go look for that. Okay, I'm obsessed with the bottle of this perfume, but. And, and you're a Libra. And I'm a Libra. But. I don't know if it's me. It's floral, very floral. Which I kinda, I don't have anything floral. I have to smell it on my. It on seems my very, skin. um, uh. Grandma y? No. Perfumey. It's very perfumey. Like. Like what? I'd say it's very, uh, it's like a elegant. Sophisticated? Sophisticated. Okay. Maybe. Should I get a little one of it? Right, but like, on a super dressed up night. The... Yeah. It's very like, what's the uh, rain bath? Oh, Neutrogena. Oh, interesting. Like it's very like fresh. I know, that's not normally what I go for. I like a warmer like wood scent. Well, it's warm floral. Warm floral. Okay, let's get a baby one. Cause I just love the bottle. I gotta get it. Okay, let's go. Should we check out? We got lots of goodies. I'll do a little haul when we get home. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so much. Dog. All right. Got a lot of good stuff. A lot of good up. stuff. Got Victoria's Secret. And we got Sephora stuff. We'll do a haul when we get home. Oh, I can take my mask off now because we're outside, but. Um, Lots of good undies that I desperately needed. I'm gonna clean out my underwear drawer. Guess where we're going? Oh my god. Pulling in. Wow, my tan is so fancy. 
made it, I'm really gonna. Oh, there's a line. There's a line. Line up wow. the dough. Bitches getting rugs, getting all sorts of things. I saw somebody post, um, you get these skinny coffee syrups at Home Goods, Goods and they have zero sugar, zero calories. World, world market sometimes has some good stuff. Yeah, they do. Definitely. Your mask? Keep forgetting his mask. We're in a pandemic. I'll go wait in line. $50. That's great. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I feel like it goes with... Uh... It's a good neutral, but I don't know where I put it. Here. Hey, put it on the cart. I like it. Yeah, we're not having a kid for a while. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. A little rose. Blush. Cute. Get it. Love it. I'm tempted to get one of these guys. No. For goose. This is the skinny syrup it's talking about. Zero calories, zero sugar. And pumpkin. I know. I want a, a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Yeah. Let's get that one. Take it. Look good in one of our guest bedrooms. I know. But it definitely <laughs> dictates the color. But that's really nice. It looks like, like Turkish. That's like really cool. Very nice. Really cool. Very unique. Cute pillows. These are nice. Cushion the old material. Good material. Ooh, this would be cute soft. on the couch, you know? Like to build some layers. We need more layers on the couch. You guys, they're really empty. Like, normally they have way more stuff. But it's like very fall. Very fall. Look that. It's like a, yeah. Goose would try to find the squeak. Goose would love that. Goose would love that pillow. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, these are kind of cute. Cute pattern on them, kind of. Just wait. They're cute. I like them. This is very like um interesting mixture. Retro. Yeah. For home goods. Let's go to the, let's go to the working time. Okay, let's go. Everything is so boring. Yeah. Like, it's like every place you go, every shop, furniture store, everything. They're out of stuff. Everything just picks through and out. Yeah. I know. I feel like you have to just get everything online. You look cute in a hat. I do? Yeah, I like it. Um, and then my mask freaking broke and I was taking it off. The strap snapped. Well, those are crappy. You need this, like these. Don't go to Home Goods, people. I know. Don't go, there's nothing. Just picked through. Said the one that, that one girl recently messaged me and said that the one in Las Colinas is popping. I know. But. That was like two days ago. Like, it's probably already paid for the Anyone work at Home Goods? Can you tell us when they like stock the store so we know when to go? <laughs> All right. <gasps> Soda water from McDonald's. They don't have it. They don't. Okay. McDonald's doesn't carry soda water. I go home. Or the Tumor Do you want soda water? Minerals, they have it. But they have it over the market down. I'm bored. What a way day. Okay. I did. Making a pit stop for the best seltzer water is McDonald's. Best soda stream. Everyone knows this. McDonald's is the best yeah. soda stream. Yeah. And we get there straight up just the, the soda water, no syrup. I'm not in a Diet Coke, Coke mood, or else I would do Diet Coke here. Yes, ma'am. Here you go. Oh, we met a subscriber today. She was visiting from Vegas. I, Emily was her name, right? Emily. She was really cute. In Victoria's Secret. Yeah. And it's so funny. I always say this, but I I, I was Thank checking you. her out at the store, and I go, oh, I love her outfit, and like her jewelry. 
she had like really cute jewelry on and then later she came up and she's like oh and I, every time I see one of y'all and I go that girl's so cute I'm like we're just the same vibe you can tell I'm like always love all of your outfits like we all have the same style it's so funny she walked up to us and I was like holding on Julia's panties like <laughs> you know, <I'm> <laughs> no. she was wearing I'll tell you she's wearing um she's wearing thank you a pair of jeans white air force ones a basic beige like a uh, crop tank with an open flannel over it, gold hoops. The long flannel. And a gold chain bracelet. It was oh, so cute. No. Yes. I just cracked my straw. Well, yeah, a little aggressive. Dang it. You might have to ask for another one because it's going to do that thing where it leaks and it's really annoying. Sorry. Right. We got a little surprise. Thank you. Oh, yeah, we also got a medium fry. It's absolutely amazing. Do you want a new straw? That's really annoying. Sir, may I, can we get like, a couple packs of ketchup? And a, uh, I cracked my straw. If we can get a, a second straw, thank you. Rookie mistake. Thank you. Mm. They kind of gypped us. They're not really full of. Can't say gypped. All right. You can't say gypped. Now let us say someone gypped you, because it's like it's not uh, politically correct for gypsies. But is is a this is how I sound so naive. But are gypsies? Is that an actual race? Um, I don't or know, is that like... No, it's not a race, but... It's like a roll. A roll? Not a roll, but like... If you're like a gypsy, like... We've seen gypsies like in Europe and stuff, and like... I think gypsies are like known as nomads. Yeah, but it's not like a blood race. Right? They're like street nomad. I, I want to say they're like Persian. Let's look it up. So the history That's a tough quick. one. Not Romani. They are Indo-Aryan ethnic group, traditionally nomadic, living nomadic. mostly in Europe, and diaspora populations in the Americas. The Romani, as a people, originate from the northern Indian subcontinent, um, which in some regions of modern-day India. Okay, yeah, because they do. Oh, what's the race of a gypsy? Is Rome? Roma originated in the Punjab region of northern India as a nomadic people and entered Europe. We caught them, they were called gypsy because Europeans mistakenly believe they came from Egypt. Like, this, okay, so they're not I, I from Egypt. The people thought right. they were. Okay. With the nomadic. Interesting. Um, so it's like a nickname mm -hmm. for their. I learn something every day. But I wonder if you're not supposed to say gypsies either. Like, is gypsy saying, if calling someone a gypsy, I wonder if that's bad. No, I think that's just like saying someone's. Jewish or they're, but they're white not, or they're, but they're black not gypsy. or they're Asian. They're not gyp like they're right, ro they're Roma. 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 Romani. The Romani. They're not the Romani. They're not gypsies. That's a hard one because that's a such a small group, I feel like it's not talked about as much. Right. So like we are not so sure what to say. But anyway, my whole point is that Does anyone know? You're not supposed to say they jip me off or like if someone forgot to give you like your change back, you don't they say like they chipped you. you. It's not appropriate. Mm, not appropriate people. Are yeah. we going into the mercantile? Yeah. Okay, well, because you have your thing at 2.30? Yeah, okay, about so 40 minutes. Okay. So, quick But it's, update. is it right here or is it? It's just right back there. We're gonna go into the Frisco Mercantile. We've talked about this before. It's mm -hmm. like a thrift market place. And then, something really exciting is we just made Thai massages. Thai massages is like- Never wear the grocery store. Fave. Today it's turning out, it's shaping up quite nicely. It is. A Thai massage, I've talked about them before. Everyone that hears Thai massage, they think it's like a happy ending massage. It kind of annoys me. Like when I used to tell people, like, oh, I used to get Thai massages in San Francisco, they were like, oh, did, yeah, did Julie know? It's like, this, yeah, she knew. I would take her with me. It's a massage. It's a massage. Sicko. So a Thai massage is where they like walk on your back and like a stretch, like deep tissue, really like deep, like intentional about like where they're digging into. It's not like, I mean, it's relaxing. Like you can fall asleep, but it's like, they're going it's like you're there to get worked yeah. you leave like feeling like a new person yeah and i usually leave like 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 tired, out of like it, yeah. swollen like my face is just like like been pushed into the thing yeah because but it's like because you're so relaxed mm -hmm. and it's like mm, it's just the best i used to get them every sunday in california it was like my routine like my my week wasn't the same without my time massages you were addicted to them i was well it was like yeah you needed it you were so stressed when we lived there yeah it was busy okay 
Anyway. I'm going to our favorite local home shop. It's called the Frisco Mercantile. It's a lot of like vintage stuff. We've been here before, you'll see. It's mom though. If you're in the area, you should go. It's where we get a lot of the stuff in the house. You got the cam? Got your mask? Oh yeah. This one? Ooh, back of masks. Yes. Yes. Uh... Alright, let's do this. This is it. It's just a big old, I think it's an old grocery store. Arts antiques spot that's old and warm. I know. These are beautiful. Those are beats. Hundred dollars. Really nice. I really like when stuff like this is in someone's like studio, and you can mm -hmm. like have necklaces on it. Yeah. Like little mannequins. I think it's like a cool vibe in someone's closet. Yeah. If you do it right. Okay. Yeah, these are nice lamps. I like these. These would look good above like our bathroom sinks if we when we remodel. They're not as cool as I actually like the gold chains on them too. I do too. I mean. One man's junk is another man's treasure. Exactly. Okay, this is so cute. His face. For my office. It's nice. Good quality, it looks like. $250. Really? Yeah, why is it so expensive? This must be a special type of glass, but it's the prettiest color. It is nice. It. It's like blush. Yeah. This is my favorite section. Look at those candles. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I always get questions about these. Look at this table. It's, it's nice. It is. 69. Good price. Okay, this is a score. I have been looking for beads like this. I'm gonna get a couple different ones. Been wanting all the colors. I'm just gonna get all of them because I've been looking for beads. Nice. One of each? Yeah, one of each, you think? I don't think I like the black ones. Definitely too white. Should I get a black? Too white. You, you can cool. never have enough beads. Honestly. I, I think no black. No black. I kind of like this picture frame. It's pretty. It's very restoration hard. We like to put um, the moss in a big big bowl like this. Yeah, very. So besides her McDonald's cup, she's got some beads, a pumpkins. frame, and then we found these little silky so kind of pumpkins. They're only like six bucks. Just some simple like fall decor, but kind of a cute little accent, nothing gaudy. Yeah, you know? nice, very nice. So this is super cool. I actually found another dish here. Uh, marble dish that we have on our coffee table. A lot of you guys ask where we get it. But this little pedestal is kind of cute. It's like a decor object. This is marble pedestal 65. It's cute. And some rocks back here. These are different rocks. Kind of cute. This is cool. It's nice. I don't think I'm going to get it, but it's cute. All right, a bit later, and we're heading into Costco. So we're getting treats for Noah. We've got to re-up his treat jar. You guys know he gets a treat every morning. He likes nubs. He loves nubs. <laughs> they're made with milk. No chicken. <laughs> nubs, and he likes greenies. So we got greenies, dental twos, and nubs. Fresh breath, perfect. Let's do it. <laughs> Those look fake. They do? Okay. That just looks like weird material. This is perfect. Okay. We got a most important person out We got chews, nubs, and greens, steaks. and biscuits. Chews, nubs, and steaks. What are flamed grilled patty treats? You would love these jerk treats. I was thinking we should probably. All of it's probably bad for your dog. I know. You are not gonna believe the kind of treats 
I got you. You're going to have the best tree jar you've ever seen. That's good. Okay, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. It's really good. Do you have a tree? Yeah. I bought some extra battery. For the cameras? Yeah. Wow, look at these. So organized. Okay, here we go. One, well, two really cool things we picked up at Costco. Um, one is this knife set. Hunter and I only have like one knife that we use. And yeah, we really needed knives. Anyways, the knife, the knife we have is Japan, a Japanese knife and we love it. So I saw this little block. It was like $90 for this little block and comes with five knives. So we're gonna try it out. See what we think. Looks like five knives we need. And it might be nice. We also got this really cool tray called the Rock Plus, and it's a reversible griddle and grill. So you can use it on the barbecue, in the oven, or on the stove and has griddle lines on one side and then flat on the other. So if you wanna do pancakes, bacon, all of that on here, you can. If you wanna barbecue vegetables, like whatever you want. But that was like very smart. So glad we got that, I'm excited to try it. Now, I don't know how long this will last on our counter, but we'll see. All right, we just put the dog treats in these bowls and there's so many treats, like hundreds. So it'll last them a while. So for the giveaways, I have put together five different beauty boxes, one for each day of vlog week. And they are filled with all of my favorite brands, Laura Mercier, Ula Henriksen, Sephora Collection, Elf, we've got Charlotte Tilbury in here some Dripping Gold, which is my favorite tanner, um, more beautiful skincare from Pharmacy, Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette, Verb hair care. So I tried to make sure that there was like a good mixture of brands in every single box. So these are all the boxes for this week and you guys will win any one of these. There's no particular day that, you know, each one. So just enter all of them and we will put the requirements for today's giveaway on the screen. All right, making a pretty quick and easy meal. Have this like urban butter shrimp that we got at Sprouts. It was already like sauteed, so we're just like cooking it. Uh, have power greens that we got at Costco. Bada boom, bada bing. We're drizzling it with a little olive oil, some lemon, put some avocado on top with the shrimp, and it should be good to go. I'm no chef, but I'm excited for it. Tonight, that was my basic ass dinner. And celebrate. It was good. What'd you think? It was okay. It was good. Guess what did you think? God, you are a TikToker. Like, you are a TikTok consumer. I love TikTok. I love it. It's really. The Kayla Nolan? Yeah. She's cute. She's so cute. Just gonna chill the rest of the night. Got a busy week. Yeah. We had a fun day today. We did have a fun day. I think we're gonna log off though because this is really a really long vlog. Yeah. But I think it's long. I'm also I'll do the uh, Sephora haul and the Victoria's Secret haul in tomorrow's vlog because it'll be too long if I show you tonight. So first thing tomorrow, I'll just come back tomorrow if you wanna see it. So I'll show what I got and then Hunter can show what he got too. I got a jumbo size of the Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo. They had like a jumbo, so it was kind of like a value buy. I love this dry shampoo, so I got that. 
I also got a Sephora Collection bronzer. They redid their bronzers and they look so good. They're really pretty, 18 bucks. I got the shade 02 Mallorca. Very excited about that. I also got this Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment, which I saw somebody use on YouTube and literally it like neutralizes any redness. And it was like, I felt like after she put it on, her skin tone was so even that she didn't even really need to put on makeup. So I thought it would be kind of good for those days where I just want to put on concealer and like not foundation. Um, and I think it has SPF 30 in it. Um, yeah, it's just like a treatment. So let's see, relieve skin redness, moisturization and protects the skin. So we'll see. I also got this Becca Ignite liquefied highlighter. I got the medium shade and I'm hoping that it's not too dark for me because we couldn't like test out things really because you weren't allowed to touch anything. So I had to have the lady test it on her hand and she was lighter skinned than me. So I was like, oh, I can't really tell. It looks like really dark on her, but I think it'll be okay. So it's basically like a super foiled almost like liquid highlighter look at that so i'm hoping it will look good i think that'll be the right shade for my skin tone but i love a liquid highlighter because it like really melts in and i don't have anything like this that's like super shimmery so i'm excited for that and then i got two concealers one of them by accident actually i was gonna put this becca one back because i found the hourglass but i ended up getting both of them i forgot so this is the hourglass vanish concealer in the shade fawn and this looks kind of light but we'll see i don't know i'm just like i love my elf cosmetics concealer but um I just thought maybe this one would be a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna try it, we'll see. And then the Becca Aqua Luminous, which was actually on sale. And um, I got this in the shade beige. And I know this is like a really lightweight, oh, this is all separated. Oh gosh, yikes. I don't know how long this is sitting on the shelf for. I'm gonna have to bring that back. Yeah! And then lastly is the Marc Jacobs bronzer which i've never had i know it's so popular in the shade tantastic and you guys know i'm a bronze freak so i had to try this and i got two bronzers but whatever and these are all the products like i want to try but um don't like ever get sent to me or anything so this is very exciting oh and then lastly is i got that wet cell perfume which you guys saw prettiest bottle ever and i just got a small size of it so yeah I wanted to show you guys what I got from Victoria's Secret. So nothing too crazy here, but I really, really like their like seamless styles. Well, that's kind of like my favorite style of underwear, honestly. So I'm trying out some new styles. These ones, like I sleep in underwear like this, so I always like to get some. But then they had some cute seamless um, thongs that I got. Just lots of different basic colors ribbed is really cute and then um one more like bikini style so just cute i really love this is my probably my favorite material from them it's just their actual victoria's secret line not the pink line but it's still like five or five or thirty or something anyways that's that and then i got this bra which pretty sure one of you guys recommended that used to work at victoria's secret and it's strapless, and I haven't had a strapless bra in a while. I have one from Target that I do like, um, but I'm always looking for, it's not like my end all be all, so I'm still on the hunt. Um, this is, what's the name of it? Multi-way bra, I don't know. But what I really like about it, so you can take the straps off, and it's nice and secure. Obviously, I, you guys know I don't really like padding in my bras like a ton, but this is pretty thin padding and for strapless You kind of like have to have padding. There's not really a way to avoid it, but it has like rubber on the inside uh, Which feels like it's gonna be like super secure and like really stay up uh, So I'm excited about that and just nude color. So yeah That's what I got and what else? Oh, yeah, and then a little roller of the Dream Angels Heavenly because I love this fragrance. It's one of my favorite fragrances. This is licking my hand. Good night, y'all. Nice. Good night. It's raining. Too cold for a Sunday. Also, can't nobody love me.